Natalie with Dancing with Daisy. And today we tried to set up cattle panels. Actually, we put up three. With cattle panel trellis. It's trellis. Um, and a couple things I want to mention. We're in an urban setting. We don't have a truck or any way to haul these things. And I found out that you can go into Tractor Supply and they have a separate delivery service, not the one that's online, but you go in and they will deliver for a $50 flat fee. At least in our area. In our area. So if it's more than, I believe 25 miles, it's a dollar per mile after that. So Terrific. something to think about. Anyway, oh, oh, oh look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally go vertical. So, so finally go vertical. Um, few problems we ran into here is that we didn't realize there's concrete. You want to like show? a foot or two down. You can see these very large pieces. We couldn't even get the posts in because we kept hitting stuff. And this is what we dug up. So, <laughs> so that's one thing you might encounter when you're trying to put these in. In an urban area. Yeah, in an urban area, all kinds of trash under this property. So that's what it is. But so far we're trying to do the one six foot T post. I think you pound it in a couple feet mm -hmm. um, in the ground and then zip ties. I learned this method. She has a video on it on Roots and Refuge, how to set up cattle panel tunnels. So she has a lot of awesome resources. So I'm trying this. And we'll see, I have about, what, eight more to set up? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll try to do a video on the actual setup of these, but basically you need two people, one T-post and you just kind of bend it over and hold it really hard. Cause look at this, I can barely touch. <laughs> if you're smaller like me, it's a little challenging. But, about a five um, foot span, right? Yeah, but my husband behind the camera is six foot two. Three. Six foot three. Thank you. <laughs> and that made it a lot easier. So, All right. Um, and right now we're also using just a sledgehammer. They make that little tool. I don't know what it's called. It's like it so, has handles to knock in a T-post. Now I see why people use them. They're probably a lot. What do they say about $20? They're about uh, 25 30. to okay. $35, dollars, you okay. know? Every penny counts, trying to save money. So, um, but if you're going to be doing a lot of these, it, but if you're doing a lot, it's probably worth it. You could show the, uh, this what is else? what happened when we banged with a sledgehammer. Oh, yeah. Where's the T post? Yeah, there look at chipped off the chipped edge. Chipped off the edge on yeah. the yeah. T post with a sledgehammer. So, okay. that is a problem. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm excited. I have a lot of fails this year, <laughs> but that's okay. Hopefully, there'll be a lot of wins. Failure is data rich, isn't that what they yes, say? Yes, I've learned a ton. If everything went perfect, I probably wouldn't know anything. Yep. Um, yeah. So through all our failures, they're all learning opportunities. Yeah. And um, next year, a couple things. I'm gonna bag, bag a squash and things like that because everything gets eaten. If you want to show, mm -hmm. like our, um, you can see the. Spaghetti squash that I thought I would harvest soon is mm -hmm. torn apart. Another one there. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I had a huge pumpkin. It looked beautiful. And then when we went to pick it on the other underside, it was all eaten. So <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm hoping maybe having things vertical will get a little less uh, critters eating things and make it more magical. So and we're going to bag everything. And bag everything. Everything. <laughs> I'm really bad. So hopefully in the future, I'm terrible right now. It's for the end of the season. I kind of fizzle out. Mm -hmm. And that's when you really need to like muster some energy because you need to harvest, you need to store, you need to can. <laughs> that's where I... <laughs> uh, and you, you have the dual challenge of this garden all started out as a habitat garden, now transitioning to food. So we have this yes. unique challenge. We're in an urban area. We've created lots of habitats. So we have lots of residents. Yes, we do. <laughs> but I welcome them. As Sean from Edible Acres always says, you have to plant enough to share. So <laughs> we share with our friends. And so. And bag the rest. Bag the rest. So, <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Yeah, stir some. Nice. I end up just snacking in the garden all the time. So these nice. are so yummy and peppery. That's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> More to come. More to come. All right.